Keith, thanks for taking time out to talk to us after quite a, a busy training session this morning. Um, we're a few days in here in Portugal. How are you finding mm, it? Very hot, very hot, Dale, but it's uh, now good facilities. Um, obviously, we came in on the Monday morning, uh, watched the boys play against Warsaw on Tuesday, and then we flew out here on uh, Wednesday. So, great opportunity to meet everybody, staff, players. So. Uh, really enjoying the week and enjoying the, the company of everybody so and the work's been good you know we've had a couple of days into it so high demands you know the manager demands uh, some good standards every day uh, not just uh, on the field but off it as well you know yeah what are the kind of things that you as as a coach are trying to instill into the group in these early few days we're trying to give them a structure a purpose a role and responsibility on the pitch uh, and also uh, a mentality of a never say die man mentality. So a lot of hard work. Um, so everything they do is to the, the best that they can do it. And it's difficult with these conditions, but they, you know they're, they're going through some real tough demands, uh, not just physically, but with the ball as well. We're, we're working on certain patterns of play, uh, and just give them a structure to work from. Yeah, and does this trip out here, a pre-season camp, a full seven days away from the yeah. distractions back home, come at a good time for, for you as a coaching staff and the players? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, you know, when you go away, you're in each other's shoes, so it's uh, you're getting to know people, you're having a chance to have a sit down, have a cup of coffee with somebody, have a chat, uh, see what they've done in the past and see that, where we can help them in, in the future. So it's a great opportunity for everybody to get to know and the staff as well. The staff have been really helpful. Uh, everybody wants it to work and that's, you know, everyone's on the same page and that's that's great. Yeah, and you bring a wealth of coaching experience to the yeah. football club. What was it about the opportunity to join Birmingham City that appealed to you? Well, I'm a Quinton boy, so I know all about Birmingham. So, um, yeah, growing up, um, also played in 95. I always felt that I was disappointed with my contribution to Birmingham. I had a severe ankle injury, which, which curtailed my, my career, really. But, uh, no, an opportunity to, to, to work at, at Blues gives me great satisfaction, and I want to... I want to continue my journey really. I've, I've worked with some very good people. I'm very excited about working with John. I think uh, he's a very forward thinking coach. Um, I like the staff that's with us and that really gave me a, a real urge to come and work here. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Listen, I, I know it's a tough challenge and I know all the circumstances surrounding it and people saying, well, you know, is it the right time to go in? For me, it's about the best time to go in because I feel it can improve. Uh, I feel I can contribute with the rest of the staff and the players to, to improve it. Uh, we all know it needs improving um, and great opportunity for us all to do that. Yeah. Are there different styles of coaches and if so, what style do you bring? I was very different from when I started to now. You know, I think a wealth of experience gives me a, probably a little bit more karma than what I do now. Uh, my role is obviously to support the, the main man is John. Uh, John has the ideas, I try and support it and I always agree with it and I'll, obviously, and I'll challenge John with that and I think that's important. But in the main I think it's a, a support group. Uh, for me it's about giving my wealth of experience to him. Uh, but ultimately the, the, you know, the decisions are with John uh, and we have to all go with that. And I think what we've got is a staff that's really encouraged to do that. So uh, right behind him, right behind the team. Um, I understand the situation with the supporters, there's some feeling about supporters, but you know, all I can say is they'll guarantee that a team that will be there will go on the pitch. I always know Birmingham as an identity, it was always a tough place to go and play. And I think you know, St Andrews has to be that, and it has to be a difficult place to play, and you know you're in the game every time you come here. Yeah, you've, managed, you've, you've mentioned John there, and it's a newly formed backroom staff yeah. as well. How's the dynamic been in this first week in the job? No, it's been good. You know, Matt's a really good organiser around uh, John, so he does all the organising and the mapping out of the days. We, we fill in with that. So, no, I think we've got a nice blend. You know, obviously, uh, Tails has come in as well. You know, a legend here at the football club. Uh, really nice, nice uh, experience as well behind a back, five, a back four, back five, whatever we're working with. So. No, there's a good, there's a good blend, and I think there's a lot of people using their strengths to uh, to try and get the right uh, the right results. Yeah, so much preparation goes on to delivering the sessions that we've seen out here already, and there's so much more to coaching now than just being out on the grass. But is that where you're, you're most happiest out there on the pitch with the players and delivering these sessions? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's on the pitch, but off it as well. I think it's, you know the art of coaching for me is, is is not just about to deliver a session; it's about getting a relationship with players and actually there for them and supporting them and trying to get them to do the right things and work on their game. So it's not just on the pitch, there's obviously we have reviews with the, with the clippings and training and the matches. So we're always trying to progress with the player uh, and that's important and sometimes the player might need 
you know, uh, a nudge or a, you know, or a little bit of a rocket, depending on what the player is. Uh, but it's always there to support people and build relationships, and that's what we're trying to do. Three weeks until the first ball is kicked yeah. in, the, in the Skybet Championship. Yeah. It's every day crucial now as we yeah. count down. Yeah, really important. So the training for everybody that's here, the recruitment side of it, uh, to get uh, to get the right kind of people in. So it's it's vital, you know, that, that we've come in a little bit later than we would have liked, but uh, you know, circumstances with that. So we've got to make sure they hit the ground running. That's the beauty of it coming here to have the seven days with us all together. So it gives us a little bit of a, an advantage by doing that. So yeah, really important times now, you know. Um, but you know, what we've got to do is get a team that's, that the, the supporters are proud of. Very finally, in your mind, what represents a positive season this year? Good question. Um, we want to win more games than we lose. I think that's really important. Um, I don't, I'm not a massive believer in targets, uh, but I think about. I think the, the biggest thing is a supporter that comes and sees an identity of what it means to put in a blue shirt on and seeing the players represent the football club with that. Now, hopefully we can win more games than we lose. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a dreamer. Uh, I know the responsibilities here. I know the circumstances behind it. But I think if we can get a team that shows what we're about, uh, I think the majority of blue supporters will say, that I'll back that and see people giving 100% all the time. Keith, it's great to have you with us. I wish Thank you every you. success this year. Cheers. Thanks for that.